So, Mr. Potato Head, Chank Uger, Chank Uger from TYT, the Young Turks, is back in action telling people vote blue no matter who. No, no, no. Vote. No, no, no. You have to. You can't. Trump is the devil. You mustn't vote for Trump. He's he's going to lock up the uh, he's going to lock up his political opponents. Right? Oh no, Trump's a danger, right? And and Biden, Joe Biden, no, no Joe Biden. It's, that's a no-brainer. You'd have to be mental to vote for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. So that's that's Chank Uger saying it, and I want to tie it into a bigger picture because there's a new uh, there's a new a piece out. It's not new, but it's a piece out by the New Yorker. And it, it talks about the vast income and wealth inequality in this country, right? We want change, right? We want to change the, the, the paradigm of American politics and give power back to the people. And, and jackoffs like Chuck, Chank Uger, Chunk Uger, and Mr. Potato Head, is telling you to vote for the Democrats because it's a, it's a lesser of two evils over the evil Donald Trump who wants to rid, rid people of the corruption, right? I mean, Trump, Trump, I'm not supporting Trump in this view. I'm just saying that the rationale to, to vote for Biden over Trump is so ridiculous and so un, is so, um, it, it, it's so reckless, right? Because you just get more of the same and it, we, they cheated us. They cheated in, 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 our, in the elections. They cheat, they lie, they cheat, they steal. So 1%, but more importantly, income and wealth inequality, 1% uh, the one percent in this country have gotten twenty-one trillion dollars richer since 1989, and the bottom fifty percent have gotten poorer. Wow! So it's it's just, just a staggering, staggering uh, uh, notion right there. But let's listen to uh, Chunk Uger say it. Right? Let's listen to the. Potato Head say, say this uh, in his own words. We'll give him his own words. All right, ready? So, Tank, if we play that on even a little bit further, I think there's a, a good chance Biden ends up being the nominee. Democrats have a very poor track record in terms of the nominees that they pick. And I think there is a chance that he then goes on to beat Trump, although I agree with you. I don't think he's the strongest choice if you're just looking at elected. So this is the Hill. This is this is corporate media par excellence. This is Cenk Uger on the Hill you know, Mr. $20 million man, Chank Uger, on the plane, flying to New York. Ah, oh, I see you see him in his little videos. He's he's flying to New York, talking to all the hedge fund guys, talking about big, talking big money. And, uh, Chank, you sold out, you motherfucker. You sold out, you bastard. Listen to what he says. Stability, but let's say that he wins the White House. What do you think that administration looks like, and what do you think the consequences are? I think the consequences, honestly, are terrible. And don't get me wrong. If it's Biden versus Trump uh, in the general election, that's the biggest no-brainer of my life. I will definitely vote for Biden. Uh, and anyone who uh, doesn't, I think, is mental. Uh, so, so you're mental. If you vote, if you don't vote for Biden, you're mental. You're crazy. What are you crazy? He just told you it's a horrible pick. And if you don't vote for him, you're crazy. <laughs> not because Biden's great, as I'm about to explain, but because Trump is an absolute disaster. He doesn't believe in our former government. If you give him four more years, uh, this democracy might not even survive. And I don't think that's hyperbole. I think he's going to start locking up his political opponents. He's going to start locking. Trump is going to start locking up his political opponents. I, I fundamentally I disagree that Trump has the balls to do that. But if he did, why would that be a bad thing? Why would locking up liars and cheaters, people that 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 rigged an election in 2016, that uh, create these these illusionary wars, these the need for wars abroad, the regime change wars, and, and uh, tax evade and and launder money and uh, and all the crimes like the for example the Clintons they just locked them up. Why why Mr. Uger, why Mr. Potato Head would that be a bad thing? Why would that be worse, locking up the bad guys, as a, as opposed to voting for the bad guys, right? Where's the where's the logic? Let me vote for the bad guys rather than lock up the bad guys. How fucking stupid is that? It's just it's just backwards. This is this is the power of money. This is how this is this guy right here, Mister Fucking Potato Head, right? This is how money corrupts, right? Because he wasn't singing this song. You know what happened to rebel? What happened to take your take your fucking take your election, stick it up your ass, right? We're not gonna vote for no, we're not voting for no fucking shit sandwich. 
Right? There's no way on earth that 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 I would ever get behind a fucking shit sandwich like Joe Biden. Joe fucking Biden? Are you kidding me? Chank, you are you fucking kidding me? Vote for Joe Biden? I'll let Trump burn the motherfucker to the ground before I vote for Joe Biden. Or tell anybody to vote for Joe Biden. Tell fucking Trump, get the flamethrower out, burn the motherfucker to the ground. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so listen a little more. He said that over and over again. Uh, and when he says things like that, he... And listen I think there is a chance that he then goes Let's on listen to, to him again. Trump, although I agree with you, I don't think he's the strongest choice if you're just looking at electability. But let's say that he wins the White House. What do you think that administration looks like and what do you think the consequences are? I think the consequences, honestly, are terrible. Terrible consequences if you get Joe Biden in. Uh, don't get me wrong. If it's Biden versus Trump uh, in the general election, that's the biggest no-brainer of my life. I will definitely vote for Biden. Uh, and anyone who uh, doesn't, I think, is mental. Uh, not because Biden's great, as I'm about to explain, but because Trump is an absolute disaster. He doesn't believe in our former government. If you give him four more years, uh, this democracy might not even survive. And I don't think that's hyperbole. I think he's going to start locking up his political opponents. He said that over and over again. Uh, and when he says things like that, he usually, uh, unfortunately, delivers on on his uh, promises of being uh, a tyrant and a demagogue. Uh, so now in terms of if Biden wins, though, I, I know exactly where to get nothing. He's not going to propose anything bold. He says it. I mean, it's, it's not me saying it. It's him saying it. He's not going to go for Medicare for all. He's not going to go for Green New Deal. He's not going to get money out of politics. Uh, you know, he might nominally be for $15 minimum wage. I mean, by God, that is the bare, bare, bare minimum. So why, you idiot, why would you vote for somebody like this? Why don't you, why don't you use your platform, Mr. Chunk, and, and denigrate the guy? Attack the guy. Say, the guy's a shit sandwich. No one, under no conditions whatsoever, under no absolutely zero, will we vote for your shit sandwich. Put up a progressive can, put up a candidate, a progressive candidate that has the values, has the Medicare for all, has all of the all of the policies that we're looking for, and then we'll vote for him. If not, fuck you. We'll leave, we'll let Trump continue to burn you burn your ass to the ground. Right? Why not say that? That's not. It's, and that's what corporate Democrats do. They do the bare minimum, and then they reach across the aisle. And they do a bipartisan agreement with Mitch McConnell, which usually helps the incredibly rich and powerful who are the donors of both Joe Biden and Mitch McConnell. And the rest of us get screwed. Right. So what it does, I just it's just the, the logic behind telling people, what didn't you see about 2016? What don't you understand? Why not? Why not? boycott the election, squeeze the Democrats now and let them know that there's no chance whatsoever at all that, that this shit sandwich is going to, is going to even get nominated. Right. Why, why don't you take that road? And, and you, and you say, if there's any, cause you know why? Because Cenk Uger doesn't believe in, in the cheating. Cenk Uger denies is a cheat is a, is an election fraud denier. That's what he really is. He denies the fact that the elections are rigged. That, no, 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 that's not rigging. That's just, uh, you know, that's money in politics. That's money money influencing the machines, right? Switching votes and, and, and uh, shutting down polling places. That's all, that's just, uh, that's not election rigging. That's, uh, you know, it's just, it's just he's, he's, uh, he's uh, deep in the woods right now. So, so let's, look, let's look at this. This is, so that, there's the, the lead independent journalist Chank Uger with his two million or how many million subscribers on, on YouTube and TYT telling people vote, vote blue no matter who, right? Even if you give us a shit sandwich, it's better than the shit sandwich that's in the, in the house right now. All right, the guy that's, that's at least got some momentum trying to, trying to focus on getting rid of the corruption. Same policy, right? There's no, there's no policy shift with Trump versus Biden. It's the same. It's a sinking ship. Right? Both of them are about Re Reaganomics and econ you know, trickle-down economics, give all the breaks to the billionaires. Right? They're the same. The same, you know, Joe Biden is 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 center right, if if at all. I think he's I think Trump is actually to the left of Biden in many cases. It's it's clear. Bernie fucking Sanders, there's your answer, right? There he encompasses the policies that we're looking for. So the one percent have gotten 21 trillion dollars richer since 1989 and the bottom 50 percent have gotten poorer right? 
But well, you should vote for these fuckers anyway, right? That's an that's an insane number. This is this is pretty good, right? So is an economic system that distrib- distributes its benefits in this manner consistent with America's common sense views of economic justice? <clears throat> no. If not, would incremental change be sufficient to bring it into alignment with the median American values? Or would more sweeping measures be required? Think about that. Would incremental change in the case of uh, Trump and his stupid you know, trade wars and, and, and insurgency regime change wars that they're now create, creating, right? they're trying to blame Iran for something that they didn't even do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's evidence, evidence. Right? Just fucking take the oil. Right? Or Venezuela. Yeah, yeah, humanitarian crisis. Right? Well, swamp, surrounded by swamp, Trump. Right? Now, is there any policy change, incremental? No, it's getting worse. Right? The, the situation is getting worse for people with Trump, right? With Biden, it's going to continue to get worse as well because there's no change in direction. So incrementalism, it does not even, we can't even talk about incremental change. We're talking about continued de- denigration, recession under both of these clowns. If you have to change the system, you have to get the money out of politics, you have to change the, the, the essence of the system, right? That's how you do it, right? It's not eradicating capitalism, it's not put installing socialism, it's, it's removing the corrupt entity of the system, which is corporatization. It's, it's, it's money run amok. It's unfettered capitalism is what is, is the problem, right? And unless you address it in that form, by by rooting it, by pulling it from the roots and pulling it out, you're not going to get any change, right? By suggesting to vote for the people that are causing the problem is is just bizarre. It's insane. So, uh, incremental change be would incremental change be sufficient to bring it into alignment with the median uh, American values, or would more sweeping measures be required? Of course, more sweeping measures. But we've given you that. We've given you that sweeping measure. And that's that's in the in the form of a candidate, Bernie Sanders, to to sweep out the, the crap, the money, the goddamn money in politics. It, uh, a, a constitutional amendment that would that would overturn Citizens United and keep the money out of politics, that sort of thing. Right, that's sweeping change, right? So so uh, put differently. Does the average American believe that over the past three decades, our nation's richest 1% have contributed roughly $22 trillion more of our collective well-being than the poorest 50% have? Right? So, the, right? Have the trillionaires given more to, to, to the populace or not? Does she think that tens of millions of working class people who spent the past 30 years cooking other Americans' dinner cleaning their toilets, caring for their children, harvesting their crops, wringing up their groceries, and performing countless other poorly remunerated forms of labor (laughs) that our society demands, collectively producing an (laughs) infinite fraction, a very large fraction of the value that American corporate lawyers, hedge fund managers, venture capitalists, specialist physicians, Harris, Harris's, and other high-paid professionals did. Right? So, are are the are the, the lazy rich, the the socialist rich, rich, socialism for the rich that have have benefited one hundred percent, ninety nine percent from this system, better uh, are, are more worthy than the ninety nine percent who built it. With their hands and their sweat and their blood, it's it's just an obvious. It's just it's just very obvious. But but the but the headline that is just staggering, right? That one percent have ha, the one percent have gotten twenty one trillion dollars richer, and the bottom fifty percent poorer. Right? So so here, I mean, you say to this guy, like, I mean, it's it, it's it's only natural, right? He's he's in independent media. He's within he's within arm's reach. And he's out there telling people vote vote blue no matter who, right? Just fuck you, man. There's no way, man. The message is the message is clear to the Democrats. If you ever, ever, ever want a chance to 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 win an election, a win actually win an election, meaning that people actually vote for your candidate and you win, right? Then you you got to come clean with the cheating, right? You got to stop. 
You got to start listening to the people and not the donors. And until that day comes, fuck you, Democrats. Fuck you, Chank Uger and you and you Turks. All right? No way, man. No way. That's it's un- it's non negotiable. Right? It's not a negotiable deal where you have a guy. F- the Trump with the flamethrower out burning these fuckers and you want to stop and vote for them. You want to vote for the guys that, that, that uh, uh, rightfully corrupt uh, Russia gate running a fake conspiracy theory for, for two and a half years telling the American people that Russia hacked the election when everybody, 12 Russian agents hacked the election. It's bullshit, right? It, the whole fucking story is bullshit. And you're you're still you're, you're saying vote for those people? No, no, no. It's 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 good. That's that's what we should do. Let's vote for them. Marcus Conti reporting.